Hey, forgot about that. Episode 204, We Made It Podcast. Episode what? 204. Oh, yeah. And you best believe that we're streaming live on Twitch right now. Please don't go on twitch.tv slash anything other than We Made It C's. C's is popping on Twitch, you know what I'm saying? He's getting major subs out here, you know what I mean? Caking up. Uh, can't, can't help let your boy hold $2, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> but it's all good. We made a podcast, episode 204. Uh, make sure you follow Caesar on Twitch. Make sure you send some subs um, his way because he did, although it would be five days away now, uh, four days when you're hearing this, if you're not hearing it live on Twitch right now, he said if he got... I forgot how many subs it was. He would cut his beard off. I also said if he did, if he got them subs, I'll cut mine off too. In unison. No, I'm not going to do it live on Twitch. No, I'm saying like you're standing in solidarity with me. Reset gang. Yes, I would do that for him. I have not seen uh, my, I have not seen like my chin. um, I want to say since it's almost been 20 years. It'll be, it'll be. Oh, (laughs) I want to say since 2000. You shouldn't do that then. 20 is a long time, dog. I want to say like 2003. 20 uh, years? Okay, me has been like five, so I'm down. Yeah, but um, yeah, make sure you follow C's on Twitch. Anyway, episode 204, we got a, this is hopefully going to be the shortest episode ever. It will not, but uh, we're going to talk about the Europa final. We're going to talk about. Hope so, I have to pick something up at Target, so hope it's short. uh, Well, Target don't close till 10 o'clock, so. I'm just saying. Okay, well, it ain't gonna be no four hour episode. Uh, what's it was a one? gripping uh Europa League final, so it might be a long one. I mean, it wasn't gripping until the end, boss. But um, anyway, uh, um, we're gonna talk about this Europa League final that happened today. We're gonna talk about the top six league winners. Yes, we're including uh Portugal, which I do want to have a conversation with somebody whether we can include Portugal in the global south or not um uh, what and also we'll be talking about um the big news breaking news that Zidane is leaving Real Madrid um I don't know what I don't know what order you want to start in but I guess we'll talk about I mean there's not really that much to talk about the Europa League final but we're going to talk about it a little bit um I don't know if you want to talk about Zidane before we talk about the top six league winners but I don't and it only matters what I want to do well, that works for me then. Yes. Oh, and next week um, we will be doing the We Made It Awards. We skipped it last year because why do we? Oh, because the season ended randomly. <laughs> so we skipped it last year. Uh, we didn't want to do it in like. We didn't want to do it because COVID was weird. Yeah, we usually do it after the Champions League final. Yeah. So we didn't want to do it after the Champions League final was like in August, <laughs> mm, <laughs> and, yeah. and like some and like they skipped like three, four months. It was like just awkward. No. League uh, ended. Portugal, I think Portugal ended. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was weird last year. So we there is a 2017, 18, 19. We made an award, and now there'll be a 2021, but there is no 2020. We're taking that out of our minds. Yeah, I, I don't even. Uh, what was it? I'm. At, I only remember 2019 and 2021 just popped up and we're already halfway through that. So 2020 didn't really exist to me. You dig? (laughs) Um, But anyway, let's get into it. Um, The Europa League final happened today. We had Manchester United versus Villarreal. I'm going to keep it so real with you right now. I wouldn't even watch this unless the best player of all time was playing. I I wouldn't even care. Like I literally would (laughs) have... We Gerald, were recording today. Gerald and I was Moreno, just, right? Had Al Moreno. Oh, <laughs> I was really shocked to see him. Um, hmm. Yeah, I really, I literally would not have watched this except for Cavani's playing. That's the only, literally, the only reason I care about Manchester United at all. Is Cavani is Cavani. Like that's it. And and literally the whole time I watch, I didn't watch every single second of the game, but like anytime I'm watching, I'm I'm just like so annoyed that they don't know how to necessarily play with the center forward. Man, you doesn't. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? You guys are so annoying. I really hate watching men you play, but Cavani's the realist. Um, I don't even know who scored a win, but um, I know that it went into extra time. It, okay, yeah, it went into extra time, 1-1. One, one. 
what's his name? Gerard Moreno scored, and mm-hmm. then Cavani scored in the second half. Damn, way to just <laughs> blast through the two scores. I mean, like, do you really care like that much? I mean, if you do, you can talk about it. Um, it was horrible to watch. It was rough. I never – it's annoying whenever you see a team get 63% possession and do nothing with it. That's how I know you don't know how to use your center forward. Like, the if your only way to utilize Cavani is on damn uh, cleanup balls, like, that's that's sh- sad because that man makes runs. He's, he's, he's tracking back. He's just doing so much work out there. It, endless gas tank on him. Endless gas tank. You have no um, idea. I've seen some plays, like, late where he's running all the way back, passing yeah. up everybody late. And, uh, and, and he must be doing EPO. Test that, man. Endless gas tank. Um, him uh, – they don't know how to use a lot of their players. Like Pogba's like mega deep and like all to the far left. I'm like, what? What is going on here? Why is he a deep left defensive mid? Like it's so goofy looking. There was times where I was like, like you were. I don't know if you remember um, 2018 World Cup watching Senegal. Yeah. Was it Senegal? Yeah. Where there was just no midfield. It was like yeah. backline to like Mane. <laughs> Like, just empty empty space yeah it was like the same i was like why is there no like connector in this midfield no. i sw- like i don't i don't even like yeah like i was like okay like where's pogba like pogba was this is early like pogba wasn't getting involved bruno fernandez was like forward and i was like dog like you gotta come get the ball dude like wh- what's going on i don't know like if they were playing scared like people were just like you, you know watching Watching football like that makes me really end up appreciating Man City because with like, and I'm not going to go on this tangent, but like when you watch a pep team, they just make the passes, dude. Like they just make them right away. And like they all, try, you know, actually and Real Madrid will play like that too. Um, and Barcelona used to play like that. But they make the pass and they trust that the other player is going to control it, dude. Like, you just, like, look, turn around and make the pass. Like, just do it, dude. Like, what does this guy suck? Like, what do you guys do in practice? Like, you guys don't practice controlling passes? They're so timid. Oh, oh, man. Like, there's, there's like, all this space. It was like, uh, and then just pass it back, pass it to the side. It's like, oh, my God, dude. Like, don't you want to win, you bums? damn but yeah i mean i agree i i don't think it's a timid thing i just think that like ole ole whatever his name is i don't think he has a real system i don't think he has a real tactic i don't think he has any of that so i think he just kind of tells his player to go out there be physical run hard and push the ball forward and then he'll be like oh you make a run you make a run but it's not like that's why you can appreciate man see like there's a real system going on there they have they have you can tell they have something that they drill in practice every day like regardless if it's it's full field or not like bam hates and and if it's not a full field practice but they practice the same thing every day and 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 they they execute it in the game no matter what you know and i think that that that's telling to their style it's telling to their consistency it's telling to them being able to literally just plug players in and and just have them adapt to the role exactly what you said no matter what the, the thing I can respect about it is like, they're going to live and die by it. And, and and I truly think, and this is obviously not about Man City. I truly think that Pep tells them we're going to play this system. If it doesn't work, it's my fault. Yeah. Like it's not your fault because we're doing this thing that I am implementing. And it's a thing. Mm-hmm. We're not just kicking the ball around, hoping to score like man, you did or does. Um, it's a, it's a it's a real thing where it's like look we're going to play like this you make the pass don't be hesitating don't be passing the ball sideways a million times don't be passing it back a million times cuz you're scared pass the ball forward pass it to the like progress the ball and don't shoot outside the box <laughs> yeah please don't and it, th- but that's the problem when i saw man you you know it, it's they don't know like yeah bruno fernandez is listed as a cam but he's not truly playing a cam role he's not He's not being a connector that that brings the ball from the defensive line to him, and then he, he like when did you ever see or like a legit play where they were where Bruno Fernandez running down? Here's Cavani making a, a a straight run. Here's Rashford making a run up the left, and he has a decision to make on how to cut through the defense. 
If that happened, it might have been it might have been very sparingly because I didn't see that on there. So when you just have the whole long ball United where they would just get the ball from the back and boom it forward, but they have a good center forward like Avani who gets it and retains it and resets because he's not gonna just like get it and just start going crazy. Like he's gonna start it over. So then they're there, then you can see that they don't have a legitimate, like real offense, right? Like Rashford looked terrible out there. They couldn't get nothing going. They had the ball in the half of the field, 63% possession. And they couldn't get anything going. No, no, no testing this sh- short arm goalie, alligator arm goalie. They couldn't get nothing going on alligator arms. So it's like, uh, I, I don't know. Like, what do you expect out of the team? You don't have a real like system going on here, like at all. Yeah. I mean, and there were some chances. I remember uh, Luke yeah, Shaw. No, of course, that's some Luke, shot attempts. Yeah. Luke, Luke Shaw put in a right foot, a nice right footed cross for Cavani. And Kamani got a nice strong header, but it just like ended up going off the Villarreal dude's head. How many times did you just see them kind of just setting up crosses? I felt like I just kept watching oh, yeah. crosses. Yeah. Um, there were some other stuff, but it but it's just like and then Rashford with that huge miss. Oh what well, he was actually offsides for that one though. Uh, no, he wasn't offsides. Bruno was offsides. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. but but still, but like, oh lord. I, I had tweeted in the first half, like, is Rashford tired? Like he was playing tired. Like, I don't know what was up with him. I he had like he, no, he had no sauce, no juice. He he put one really great move on some dude for Villarreal where he did like kind of like a little back heel going forward and then megged the dude and he got the ball back. But then he just put in a blind cross. And it was like so funny to me because I'm like, like, you like to think like, oh, you know, like when they're putting in these crosses, like, you know, they're really like, no, he just literally just kicked it. And like, yeah, you <laughs> could tell like, I don't want to be like mean or whatever, but there's just another level. So like the, the, another level above him, there's a player that would just calculate all this and then see someone coming in and then do that. But because he's not that dude yet or not that dude at all, he did the cool move and then got there and just pressed, press the X button. Yes. No matter what the hell was there, he just pressed the X button. And literally like, like when I saw it, I was like, I mean, it was a nice move though. It It was a great move. I was like, Mbappe right then is gonna look up. Yeah. Like Mbappe, somebody Mbappe, who's, Neymar, all them dudes. Yeah, are like like there. and I think like you can kind of you can compare Rashford and, and Mbappe. Like they're very yeah. like they play the same position, very similar players. But like Mbappe is still like has another level of confidence in his abilities where like he's he doesn't feel like he has to rush that. But but it also felt like Rashford was tired. I don't know what was going on with him. Um, he didn't have a great game. And apparently uh, I saw something where I guess he mentioned that he, after the match, he's gotten over 70 racially abusive messages on his social media. And um, That's it. I'm expecting millions. You said you want him to get millions. I said, I expected millions. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Don't you, try to bait me on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> usually Caesar don't even care about uh, C- Caesar has, has said that he doesn't care about a uh, racism on social media. So, um, yeah, and you said you don't care about monkey chance, but go off, sis. Facts. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so so Cavani, uh, uh, Gerard Moreno scored in a set piece in the 29th minute. Mm-hmm. Cavani with the cleanup crew goal in the 55th minute. Um, went all the way to the daggone uh, extra time, which, you know, I hate. I don't care if, like, like if it's extra time, like, I don't want to watch, dude. Like, just hurry up. I don't care who wins at that point. Then it went to penalties, which is even more stressful because I'm like, why are y'all doing this to me? Y'all know how much I love Cavani. Y'all are going to do this to me. And then he's going to be the one that missed the penalty. And then it's like, I like, I got to be sad. Then they had him as the fifth dude. I was like, yo, (laughs) I'll never forget. I will never forgive Luis Suarez for the Copa America 2019. When that, let me relax. When that man missed that penalty, when it went to penalties against Chile, if I'm not mistaken, every single dude made their, like he went first and missed. And every single person after that made theirs. 
And I'm like, dog, you're annoying, dude. Like, you're really annoying, and I really don't like you. Like, yeah, I was, I was like, actually, when Cavani went up to kick, I was like, damn, it'd be, it would probably break Bam's heart if Cavani just skyballs this. Uh, yeah, like, and why? everybody's gonna be like, he's washed, and Bam was like, oh my god, he's, they should have took him out. One way ticket to the plane in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> but like, Montreal Impact new striker. <laughs> Ooh, but I mean, uh, impact what are they call now impact FCs. Oh, no, they got a new name actually Montreal Club de Montreal or something like that. Sorry, oh, look at MLS season. Well, you here. saw the new jerseys, they got a whole new kit and everything. Yeah, I saw it on FIFA. Dog, I didn't see it in real life. <laughs> Come on, dog. We're big. We're this is a big MLS uh, uh podcast. I did watch some highlights, a couple of a couple of highlights. Um, I'm sorry. so anyway, so. Yo, crazy, literally penalties went all the way to the goalies. Mata, Tellez, Fernandez, Rashford, Cavani all made theirs. Then you had Fred. Like, then it started to get dicey. Because then you're like, like, okay, Juan Mata goes like savvy veteran. He's going to make his. Like, you're you're confident. Alex Tellez go, goes up. You're like, okay, he's Brazilian. He's not going to miss. <laughs> um, Absolutely not. Him and Fred were doing Cabuera, like, before the match. Like, him and uh, Fred were, like, doing that before the match. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Bruno Fernandez, like, he's a penalty taker. He's not going to miss. Marcus Rashford, he didn't even run the whole match. He's not going to miss. <laughs> and he's supposed to be good. He's he's not going to miss. Cavani goes, hold your breath. But, you know, this is a veteran. Like, this is a guy who's taking a million penalties. He's not going to miss. Then you're like, Fred? Ooh. And it almost got, ooh. <laughs> Fred, okay, Fred makes his. Then you got Daniel James. Like, I mean, you're Welsh to the heart, but like, you're a little kid. You never even play. (laughs) You're one of the middle penalty takers is just insane. (laughs) You're one of the middle schoolers, man. (laughs) You're a Welsh dragon. Come on now. (laughs) He made his. Then you had Luke Shaw. I was like, okay, I think Luke Shaw make his, but then his got actually a little hit. Like, but it went in though. Then you had uh, Twan Zebe, aka Antoine Zebe. Definitely I was American. like, huh? This dude is an American. Antoine Zebe, but but I was like, you know what? He's going to be fine because I remember that one time where Cavani was talking to him before they played against PSG. I was like, Cavani coached him up about how to take him where Jamaica was. <laughs> Antoine don't know. <laughs> Antoine's like, yeah, big dog, I got you. Antoine Zebe is like, Africa. <laughs> Like, I don't know. He's like, I think it's next to Liberia. <laughs> he was like, isn't it next to, uh, isn't it next to Cape Verde? I don't, yeah. I don't know. He's like, uh, Jamaica, I don't know. The reggae, I don't know. <laughs> he, he was like, all I, he was like, I know Vibes Cartel's bleaching. I know that. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but Antoine Zebe went up, made his, because Cavani, Cavani taught him how to take a penalty. Then That's you had Cavani Lindelof. Problem. Then you had Lindelof. And I was like, hmm. Lindelof would be suspect, but Lindelof been swagging it up. He got sleeve tattoos now. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, Lindelof, I, I got some confidence in him. He made his. And obviously the whole time, all these randoms from Villarreal have made their penalties too. Then you had the goalies. So the Villarreal goalie steps up, makes his penalty. Then you're looking at David De Gea and you just know that he's not going to make it. Like, you just know. Like, you could feel it. You could you're just feel like, it. he's not going to make it. it. Like, th- like he has the worst demeanor. Like, it's just the worst. His eyes are like red too. I'm like, are you high? Like, what's wrong, dog? First of all, don't, don't, don't daggone uh, forget. He had some case with like some, some, um, some like underage prostitutes or something like that. I, I kind of, you know what? I should look that up for, for, like, because because he missed this penalty, I should do some more research on that. Because I kind of remember that situation. I feel like it has something that he played for Atleti, right? He did. Yeah, I feel like it has something to do from when he was in Atleti. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I might have to get the we made an investigation team on that case again because you know we don't play around. No, um, WMI investigation team is top notch. Damn near Sam, CSI Miami. Damn, you lucky that I don't really mess with twelve like that. I was real close to calling Las Vegas PD against mm. Ronaldo, but I was like feel uncomfortable to call the police yeah uh, I'm, I'm good too uh but anyway the hail stepped up and he missed his oh, his penalty got saved i want to go ahead I'm go gonna, go go, go i'm gonna call something on this one let's go oh investigation dog Ooh. i'm gonna call an investigation dog oh i watched that gather four times why did everyone 
really try to do something? And why did he kind of gallop so slowly and then side foot it to the right? Afterwards, after the game, why did he kind of was like smiling and stuff, hugging people? Oh, I don't remember. I didn't see that. Why was you was you hooking up your teammates? I mean, you are a Spaniard. Was he? Oh, no, no, no. Question, question, question. He wasn't chummy like like Eden Hazard. But was he? But he was like a- fake sad when they were all hugging him and like damn near making out with him. I was like Jesus Christ, just stop kissing him in the face so hard. Um, when he was like walking off, I was like, okay, okay, man, you. Mm. So I, <laughs> who was who was who was he chumming it up with? Via Real players. Via Real players, dog, and giving some hugs and this kind of thing like this. He was like doing this kind of face, like. Oh, I was like, oh, you got the teeth out. Teeth is shining on this one. Hey. Oh, when 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 Croix or whatever uh, missed those goals for Real Madrid, he was on. He was on. We was on watching him. We was on watch out for him. He didn't know what was gonna go down. They, 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 they over here kicking it, dapping people up, giving hugs to be Real players. Like, what are you like? Would you give him a gift? <laughs> like, what is Caesar, this Christmas? Caesar, don't ever forget. Hold on, hold on. Don't ever forget when Sadio Mane missed that penalty. <laughs> After in Afcon, they had to carry him off. He was crying so hard. Remember, I, we were, I was, I, I felt the pain. I was like, "Oh my god!" Caesar, remember we were joking around. We were like, "Damn!" It, it looked like he there was like a baby head in the ground, and he just kicked that. Like, what did you just do? Maybe like, <laughs> you know, I think we said like uh, maybe the ball went into the crowd and it hit hit, some, hit his grandma or something like that. Like, killed dead. I don't know. <laughs> like. Yo, like he missed that penalty. He was crying. Well, the hair was not crying. The the hair. Oh, no, I don't want to hear about people saying he looks sad. And uh, I, even the Bleacher Report picture, I'm like, he had them red eyes of like he was high the whole time. I just think it's because he's really pale, whatever. But he had like red eyes the whole time, like before he even went up to kick. Afterwards, he kind of was just like, like leaving like this. And then I was like seeing him like give some hugs and high five. Cavani, they had a zoom in, and I was watching Cavani like this on the zoom in, investigate Cavani and watch Cavani. What's his name? Um, uh, 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 Baca, Carlos Baca went over and hugged him for like a long time, and they just kind of dabbed with Cavani. He was like, like oh, super respectful. What a what a stand up guy. You pass this time, Mister uh, uh, Master. Anyways, but but De Gea, not nah, De Gea, not nah, investigate De Gea. We wanted an investigation. We made an investigation team. Invest, I, I was waiting for you to tweet out investigate the hair, but I'm just absolutely sure after that match ended, you turned it off so fast. Yeah, I did. I did again. <laughs> I just had it on my iPad, and I was like, "Damn, the hair! You don't look that bum, dog." Yo, dog. You, you know, know I don't. Voice? I, he's like, maybe, maybe I'm gonna look where he's from in Spain. Is he from the what city is he from? That's he's... only fifty thousand people in that city of Villarreal. You know, don't play me now, big dog. He's where a, are you hey. from, the hair? Even if he's not from there, maybe he got an auntie in Den Villarreal. <laughs> he got a he got a he got a tea out there or what? Caesar, even if he's not from there, yeah, his mom might be from there. His dad might be from there. Mm. You never know. His dad might be from Villarreal. Uh, from from over yeah, he there. probably just says he's from Madrid because it's like saying I'm from LA. But what part of Madrid you're from, big dog? This What's going stupid. on here? <laughs> what the hell? He he listens to heavy metal. Mm. Suspect. Uh uh-uh. uh, nah, dog. He named his daughter Yanai. That sounds like a name from one of them small towns. <laughs> Is that a small town name? His dad might be from over there. We might have to do some investigating. Parents, Jose De Gea. Let's see what's good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I can't find nothing, but I might have to find out, goddamn. Um, okay, well, that's... Ep- he's farsighted. Please get out of here with that information. That, 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 that's the name of the episode, then. Um, investigate De Gea, because... Uh, <laughs> I don't know that last name, Quintana. I don't know. Yeah, that, well, it sounds like a small town name. Yeah, I don't know. De Gea is kind of a wild name in general. So, anyways, yeah, I don't know. Investigate De Gea. I'm sorry. It's it's it's, it's a little goofy to me. Yeah, and I, I mean, honestly, I, I don't really love for the stuff to go into penalties. I don't, and I definitely don't I like- hate penalty. The not only is it already stressful, but it just takes so long for me to get there. We started the game at 12. The game ended at 258. That's three hours of soccer. That's like watching the whole tour de France from beginning to end. I don't got time for this, man. Big biker sees out here. Okay, damn. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh if Man U would have won, then Monaco would have been in Champions League group stage automatically. So um 
Maybe, maybe. Uh, who, yeah, who? Trust me, that's the only reason why I was going for Manu. You feel me? You feel like me? The only reason. I mean, to be fair, I'm not. I'm actually kind of happy Villarreal won. Uh, also, because it's like it's kind of cool hearing about a club that's never won a major trophy uh, ever in their history, European competition. A first timer is great to see. It's so it, the list of champ uh, Europa League winners is very small because it's a lot of re- repeaters on there. So it's cool. Villarreal did it. It's cool to see five. La Liga teams next year in Champions League. Um, uh, if whatever goes down with Real Madrid and Barcelona, but um, yeah, so that's that'll be cool. And it was cute to see some of the other clubs show love to Villarreal, including Real Madrid. They tweeted out, Congratulations to Villarreal. I thought that was dope. So oh, definitely cute. investigate the head because that. Well, uh, <laughs> also, um, don't let's not ever forget Villarreal was the uh, home field of the um banana to, to uh, Danny Alves. Oh yeah, yeah. They know. That was what, a what, what a wonderful stadium. Yeah, um, fifty gay people. I, I don't. I, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna go ahead and assume the demographics, but we know what the deal is. Wait a minute. You know what? You know who used to play at Villarreal too? Eric Bailly. Eric Bailly. Uh, Eric Bailly did. He got subbed out. Um, mm. What was a uh, Ch- Chikawee or whatever his name is? The Ch- Chikawee, the, the the Nigerian dude that plays for Villarreal. He's a baller. Oh yeah, he, he wasn't there. I didn't even see him on the bench. Yeah, Chico Wee is a baller. Caesar, can you stop playing and saying his name like that? <laughs> Chico Wee? Caesar, you're the worst, dog. I thought I was bad. <laughs> Chico Wee Wee, whatever the dog name is. He's you, good. You over here calling him Bound Chico Wow Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Chick fil A? Is he out there running around? Or what? He's trifling, man. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so we'll see Villarreal in Champions League next season. And we will also see Man U. I also, one of the things I like to see is a team start in Europa and win it. I don't like to see the teams that uh, failed from Champions League. They're going like, ball out down there. Yeah, well. like like Man U did, like not make it out of group stage. No, and then that's win. cool Villarreal did. They, they, they came from the gutter all the way there. Like you did the whole grind playing against like Romanian teams. Um, but anyway. Caesar, <laughs> Serge is too. He said a little bow wow. Serge turned up. Is he drunk? Uh, <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> Serge don't be having no jokes like this. What the hell is going on? He uh, must be tired. You feel me? <laughs> tired of you. Um, okay, Caesar, it's the end of the season, and we always like to talk about the teams that won the leagues. So, um, you know, we got to show some love to the league winners. Let's start with Manchester City. Um, it's kind of crazy that like the only team in these league in like the big leagues to even reach 90 points was Inter. City won the league with only 86 points. Um two uh, I'm sorry. I mean it only like is that bad? I mean it's not I'm not saying it's bad, but it's I mean we, they won the league with 100 points a couple years ago. True. That was um, a record though. True. Um they, they finished with 12 points over their second place competition, which was Man U. Um, 27 wins, five draws, six losses. Mm. Scored the most goals by 10, They but but 83 goals, not that crazy. Um, they gave up the least amount of goals with 32. Um, they're attributing a lot of that to Ruben Diaz. I would never attribute, um, like, they're trying to act like Ruben Diaz is the next uh, uh, Van Dyke, and I'm like, y'all are doing too much, dude. Like, you need to relax. Ruben Diaz is good, but let's just chill a little bit. Um, if anything, like he's more of a Laporte than anything. I don't know if he's like a, a Van Dyke. He's just he's just a good center center back. You know, we made a podcast. We'll let you know when there's the next Van Dyke. We we will we will we'll let you know when that baller emerge. Yeah. Um, also, City's gonna have. City's what's, a, gonna, what's the massive difference between Ruben Diaz and Militao? I don't think there's a massive difference. I'm like, they could, if Militao was there, they'd be calling him the next Bron. It's all good. Like, it's not that serious. Yeah. And also, City's going to have a good defense because they retain so much of the ball. So, like, oh, yeah. your teams are going to score a lot of goals on them when they have so much possession. Two things I don't want to hear about good defenses because of good midfield, really. It's like, of course. And passing stats from center backs when they have amazing middle field. I'm like, what do you expect, dog? They're like passing it six feet forward to this center mid who's just going to blast it up to the front and they're going to score. Like, I don't want to hear about the passing stats for a center back. Please don't give me that. Like, the, the worst thing is like, 
see, you, you, you be giving We're me, supposed you, to be doing league winner shout outs. Yeah, you shout trying out to, Man City. They did that. Nah, <laughs> you trying to give me to go off. So I'm going to just leave it. Um, but yeah, City, City won EPL. I mean, they had a really amazing season and they're also in the Champions League final. I think they won a cup too. How many City uh, games you watched this year? City? Um, let me think. Let me think just a second. I want to say like at least five, but maybe like seven. How many EPL games do you watch? I, I I don't know. I, I I mean I watched a decent amount, um, but That's earlier in this earlier in the season because I was watching Cavani. But then sometimes like the games wouldn't be on TV. Um, but I watched probably the 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 team I watched the most for sure is Man U. Hmm. I watched zero. Oh damn, Duggan! I can respect that. No, no, I didn't watch a single EPL game this year. I, I haven't watched an EPL game since they had Black Lives Matter in the back of their shirts. <laughs> so that was last year summer. Yeah, I really haven't. I, I don't I don't understand how to watch it. I don't I don't know the process. It's like, do I have to go on NBC Peacock to watch it? I don't know how to watch EPL. It sounds complicated and I, I have already invested so much into the other things. No. But now that the league is moving, maybe I'm gonna cancel my uh BN and I'm gonna um uh I'm just gonna get the the French league on the low wink. And then, and then maybe I'll get that peacock going and watch some EPL because I do want to watch some EPL. I really do. I want to. But you know, it was hard to watch this season because you can you just feel for the players. And and, uh, and I, don't, I don't like watching the many games like with this no crowd. I kind of hate it to be honest. So today's game was kind of fun. Like I, I it, it was nice in the Europa League final to see like Villarreal like pumping up the crowd. That was cool to see. And then cool to see whenever they score, they go right over there like screaming to them. I'm like, oh, like I kind of missed that feeling. Like that was cool. So yeah, it's it's a little it's rough. Watching some games this year is rough. Like watching Real Madrid was so rough because they played in a little practice stadium. I'm yeah. like, this is so ghetto, dog. Like, can we just can we go back? Uh, like, oh god, is the burnabout ready yet? Please, man. I want to watch these damn training pitch matches. Well, Caesar, the burnabout was on fire today. <laughs> yeah, I know because yeah, they're, 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 well, they were doing construction all year, and then yeah, now it's on fire. Yeah, but still, well, yeah, there seems a setback. But yeah, they played this match in Poland uh, today, so I guess uh, some of the COVID uh, restrictions aren't as bad there. They were Apparently, chilling. There was a lot of VRL people. They pulled. They put up to Poland real quick from Spain. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of menu fans too. I I, I seen them in there. Yeah. Uh, all right. So yeah. Anyway, City uh, they did a great job by winning the league. Um, you know, it was a it's kind of like a war of attrition in a lot of ways, but you can tell by the only eighty six points. But um, over to La Liga, obviously Atletico Madrid won the league. Twenty six wins, eight draws, four losses. Real Madrid mm-hmm. also had four losses. Um, won by two points over Real Madrid. With uh, eighty four, Real Madrid at eighty four. Um, Atleti had the tied for the second most goals scored uh, with Real Madrid with sixty seven goals scored. Barcelona had eighty five. I'm like, when did that happen? <laughs> uh, uh, Luis Suarez had twenty one goals. Uh, I think he was third in the league. And um, two things. <sighs> Okay, as far as Atletico, I was going to flame them if they didn't win the league, but they won it. But I'm, and whatever, if I'm hating it, it may sound like I'm hating, but I feel like they, like, they have no pressure. Like, uh, what's his name? Um, why do I always forget his name? Who, what's the damn coach? The coach name? For who? Uh, Atleti? Oh, Diego Simeone. Simeone, yeah. Well, let me just remember because his last name sounds like my mom's name. Oh, okay, okay. And the donut and the donut place. Um there's no pressure on Diego Simeone. Like literally Atleti could finish 14th and it's like, oh yeah, you know, like there was just a lot going on. And you know, they but you know, their defense was it's just wow, their defense was just not that good this year. And he, they'll they'll make a million excuses for him. I feel like because there's no pressure, like that's why they were able to be successful. And also, I think it looks bad on La Liga that you had uh, uh, Atleti won the league and they got a center forward that can't run. Like, what's the deal? Literally, you got a center forward who cannot run. Like, he can't run, dude. Yeah. And, it's, he, it, and they won the league. Like, you they can't. Won the league st- and that dude put in like 25 goals. That's crazy. Like, you can't stop him. He literally can't run. 
And I'm not even trying to clown him. He's, you are. I mean, I'm not trying to. If he could run, I would say he could. But I watched him this season. I'm like, yo, he literally can't run. I mean, to be fair, also I saw some of his games. He didn't have like I remember seeing some of the games. A lot of these goals you have was kind of cap. They were like were against like booty teams and stuff a lot. I'm like, yeah, but you wasn't really out here doing it in the trench games. Like, yeah, you scored against like oh Valencia and, and and Elche and all that. But I'm like, you wasn't really putting it in when it was like this Real Madrid games over there. You wasn't really putting on like that. Um, especially when they kind of really needed it, it was pivotal. I mean, they got luck. It it was down to the wire. To be fair. Um, it's the same thing with Bale. Like these, a lot of the goals he had was just against cap teams. Like it wasn't even like nothing serious. Yeah, it, also, it, it, it is incumbent on the league when you think about like how are you gonna let this dude damn near get the golden boot and this dude uh won the league with that. It's just yeah, it, it it makes Barcelona look bad and the league look bad. Like yeah, it makes Real Madrid look bad too. Everybody, yeah. Yeah, because it's like, what, what, like, what are these coaches talking about? I would literally be like, look, guys, that fool right there. If you let him get the, if you let the ball fall to his foot in the box, he's gonna. If he gets three shots in the box, he's gonna score one of them. But how many goals did did, did Diego did uh, Luis Suarez score against Real Madrid? Well, no, I don't think he. I mean, I'm, I'm just talking. I'm not talking I don't about think like he scored head, one. I'm not talking about the heads to head necessarily. I'm talking about like the whole league. Like, oh, the coach yeah. should be saying like, yo. This dude right here, if the ball falls to him in the box three, four times, and he gets a shot off, at least one of them's going in. Yeah, I'm definitely going. Him. I'm definitely going. In. We can't let this man get the ball in the box. Like, there's no way. Like, you can't do he, that. He can do damage in the box. He's clever, and 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 he, you know, he's kind of fearless in the box. We can't be letting him just like get on the. But but trust me. You don't have to like he can't run. No. Push him outside the box. Like yeah. give let him get the ball outside. He can't run. Mm-hmm. Literally, he cannot run. So you can just like man mark him. Like, what do you yeah, like, yeah, whatever. Who else is gonna score? Uh Yorente can can shoot Carrasco, but they're not gonna score. Like, neither of these guys is gonna score. Felix ain't goals. scoring. Who Felix ain't even scoring on that team because they don't know how to use them. Poor Felix, free Felix. Caesar, you know what a great name? first name. I love the name Felix. Free the homie Felix. That's his last name, but I mean Caesar, whatever. Free him, Caesar. I literally forgot about him. That's the shame. I forgot about him. I literally what's forgot his about his name. Dude. Oh, what's his first name? João. Jo- oh yeah, João. 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 Yeah, free the homie Felix. Dog. Going down. Uh, <laughs> Going down, <laughs> um, but yeah, Atleti won the league. Um, that that's cool. That that's great. Let's go to Germany a little bit north. Obviously, Bayern won the league. Um, Seventy eight points. It's a bit lower because Germany, for whatever reason, plays four less matches than everybody else. Does they care uh, about humans? <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Um, they get a longer break too. Yeah, Winter break. 13 points over their over the second place rival Red Bull Leipzig who had 65 points. Caesar, um mm. Lewandowski had 41 goals this season. Buku numbers. Do you know who is second with 28? On Bundesliga? Yes. I feel like it's someone funny. Hold on. Old old homie of yours. <laughs> old no. boy of yours. Big, big potential on this guy. Never really panned out for real, but you know what I mean? He he balled out this season. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Don't be getting, t- put that mouse down. I'm here, here, here. Okay. Big potential, old homie of mine. Oh, yeah. He Didn't used pan to, out. there was, there was a lot, there was some hype around him for a little bit. Oh, I know who, I know who, uh, he plays for Frankfurt, uh, uh the portuguese dude um adriano or adrian or something like that was his name uh andre silva andre silva <laughs> yeah 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 he had like 27 or something right 28 Caesar, okay, I, watched, big dog. I, I watched the uh <laughs> you want to talk about cap goals <laughs> i know he Caesar, just like all just like random in the box he's, he's just another icardi dog I'm yeah, basically you. basically yeah, yeah I, I was big on him at porto and then I remember when he moved to uh damn, where did he go? After Porto, he went uh, to Milan, Milan. Milan. I watched four games 
and I literally instant scout. And you know I'm biased. Instant scout mode sees went. He's not it. Oh. <laughs> like I, if there's one position I know, it's a striker. So when I was watching him run and play and receive the ball, I'm like, dog, you look goofy out here. This is this is this isn't it. Like he looks so goofy. Like he didn't have like crisp retention. He didn't body people up. He wasn't really doing much. So I was like, yeah, he has to be in like some four four two where he can just like tap and and get some easy stuff off. But hey, big ups to him though. He got a cracking. I mean, I remember watching him. Uh, he's he's all right, man. He's just yeah, not. like I mean, yeah, he's not he's not some like oh my god guy by any means. Um, let me let me look uh, really quick because Sevilla. That's where I watched him because I was like I know I remember. Oh watching yeah, he him. went to Sevilla too. After yeah, that. I was like I remember watching him, but I know I I know I didn't watch he's him at right. Porto or Milan. So I was like I just wanted to look to see like where I watched him. I feel like I liked him at Sevilla. I mean, yeah, yeah. he he's he's not like. Um, He's not like going to be a star by any means, but he, but he's like, he's good for like, um, like he's a center forward. I'll say that. Like, there's not a whole lot of center forwards. He's a, he's there. Like he'll do, he'll do that thing. And, 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 but, but at the same time, like, cause I'm not even trying to clown him for that. We've seen players be put in that role. Like, and we, talk, I think we talked about these guys last week. We talked about uh, Morata, Timo Werner, who were put in like a center for a role and that's not what they do. So it just doesn't pan out. Andre Silva is a plug in center forward. He'll do the job. And, yeah, and he, he doesn't make a ton of mistakes. He, he he's in shape. Um, he'll just get a crack. And I, I, uh, but he won't, he won't, you know what it is. He's very balanced. He doesn't have like any exponential skill on one level. Like he's not like a, he doesn't have a, a boom shot. He doesn't have a crazy speed. He's not crazy buff or whatever. He's just very like serviceable everywhere. And there's a lot of use to that. That's important. I think that he's a good, I think he's his career. Like he, he can be a good rotational player in a lot of really top teams and in it. And on a team like Frankfurt, he's going to get a cracking. So it's really up to him on what he wants to do uh, and play. And I think that like, even on a, on a Portugal team, when he got called up, he's good because when they have players like Ronaldo and, and uh, um, um, what's his name uh, that plays for Man City, uh, our boy, the winger. Uh, 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 Bernardo Silva, Bernardo Silva, like those guys have like a lot of ball. Uh, they hold the ball a lot. They do a lot of movement and passing. You want someone like Silva that's just there, there to clean up, you know, and just do work, not like requiring the ball also to do work, you know, like they, he's a good player for those kind of teams that have already high level of talent around them. Even on the man city, he would ball out like on those teams. He's good. Yeah. You just I, don't want to have him as like your primary resource for what you need. Yeah, for a big club, no. I mean, he, no, no, he's, big club, no. Frankfurt's he, like that, yeah, yeah, but not like he, he's scored top, tw- not the five star teams. Yeah, he scored twenty eight goals in thirty two matches, so you can't take nothing from him in that. No, regard. I mean that, that's and he put up numbers on Porto too. He had, he had a crazy number that year too. So yeah, yeah, uh, they finished fifth. Uh, Frankfurt did this season. I mean, yeah, it was they, got, I, I, they, they brought Jovic back, and Jovic was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> well, I think I think like they could. I think that them two could play together. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah but shout out to him. Want but... to go back to Madrid? <laughs> oh, stop it! Um, but what's the name? Um, shout out to Bayern Munich. I mean, nobody's shocked. Um, shout anyway, out, shout out Bayern Munich. Shout out Canadian Alfonso Davies that they're putting on. Go ahead, big dog. Skirt. Okay, well, let's get to the next three that are shocks. Um, Long, longest episode ever. Go ahead. Oh, here you go. Um, Syria. Now, now I can see the time. By the way, I can see the time. Okay, how much time has it been? Fifty minutes. Fit five zero? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the heck? <laughs> uh, okay. Syria entered Milan, won the league for the first time, I want to say 11 years. Um, they dominated Syria, 28 uh, wins, seven draws, only three losses. Got a whopping 91 points, uh, 12 above second place, which was AC Milan with 79. Um, wild. Another a, a team that um, failed in the Champions League group stage, which is pretty pathetic, I think. But they failed hard too. Like they took a hard one. Yeah, they didn't go through in the, in the group stage. Um, I feel like that is like whatever. You know, maybe maybe they did it on purpose. <laughs> I'm just joking, but like it it definitely helped them in regards to progressing in the league because while Juve was like having to battle on two fronts for real, for real. Inter was just, you know, you have two 
certified star forwards, like very good players with Lukaku and uh, Laturo Martinez. Like, uh, like you got two ballers up there. You don't even got to do too much behind them. But yeah, like, and and they did a good job of doing that, and also putting pretty good midfielders behind them. You know, you have guys like Vidal and Erickson. Those guys will be able to get them the ball. They will be able to get them service. They will clean up and. Lautaro and, and Lukaku, you know, they just had monster. Lukaku had a monster year. Um, uh, go ahead, ma'am. Lukaku had 24 goals, um, five behind the uh, goal scoring leader, Cristiano Ronaldo of Africa. Which, which is which, the haters want to hate, but check check the numbers. Um, uh, remember, Ronaldo said that he, he records chase him, apparently. But, um, and I think he's talking about music records. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't really remember, but I feel like Inter was my preseason pick. I don't really remember. Um, uh, we got to, I want to kind of see those again. I forgot what our picks were, and, and it'd be funny to relay those in now. I feel like they kind of were. I don't remember though. Um, I mean, I'll try to find it. I don't know, but uh, yeah, uh, big, you know, it was, it was, it's been, it was a crazy year in Serie A, but good, good on uh, Inter. You better win the league when you have probably two of the, arguably two of the best strikers in the world um you definitely arguably. have the best like the best the, the top best, five for sure like yeah you, know. you, you definitely have the best front line out of any team in Serie A. like the title starts over anybody in the entire planet right now in, in terms of the striker position and lukaku can win that job as well too anywhere so you better freaking win i don't know how i don't know how they're gonna afford him i know conte's gone now effective immediately conte's out the team uh uh so i don't know what they're really gonna do moving forward but hey they want Serie A, and that's huge and congrats to enter you know it wasn't too long ago we were all watching Vienna when they talked about the restructuring of the Milan clubs um, and AC Milan falling apart. And Serie A was really dead back then. It was waxing clubs like Torino being in top four. It was, you know, it, as growing up as a kid, you know, I was a big fan of watching Inter Milan and seeing the, 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 the battles between them. I thought Ronaldo and Maldini, all those good days. And it's cool to see, you know, both those clubs kind of back at the top. It seems, it seems going back to the real racist days in Syria. Yeah, um, Ronaldinho and, and, and big Ronaldo, big ni- number 99. That was fun. Who, Ronaldo? The one that's not as good as Cavani? Um, yeah, and also uh, baby baby Tiago Silva. Don't forget your boy. Are you going to forget your boy, Adriano? I mean, that's way before, but yeah, yeah. Damn, dog. I thought that was your dog. I don't want to talk about it. It always breaks my heart when I think about him. Um, But yeah, yeah uh, Conte's leaving. Right. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Conte's leaving, and I do think that Conte had a lot to do with their success. Um, he's definitely one of those coaches that's intelligent. Um, he ugliest systems ever. He 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 puts he puts pressure on himself to win the matches. Um, like not just on the players, like a demon like Mourinho. Um, and he's he's really like uh, really passionate, like. You can you would love to play for a coach like that who's like feels the goals just as much as you do and 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 like will hold you accountable but also celebrate your wins like that's the type of coach you want to play for. It's kind of crazy that he's leaving after this season. I don't know like what his goals are. Maybe he wants to go to EPL, huh? I think I know where he's going. Where? I think he's going to Real Madrid. <sighs> That'd be cool. That'd be I interesting. Think that's where he's going. I, okay. I just have this weird feeling. I think that's where he's gonna go. Yeah, um, it was very. It. it was crazy that like on the same day, Zidane and and Conte had big announcements about you know them leaving their clubs. And I'm like, that's interesting. Mm. So I don't really see anybody else in that market. I'm like, that could definitely see him being that guy. Um, look at Lukaku's statements. You know, Lukaku said it best. I'll never forget what Conte did. He, you don't forget a coach that's like really passionate. Um, that he's almost a player's coach because he was a player. So you can like really like get behind guys like that as coaches. So that's dope. And I, I, I always saw the animation Inter had, you know, Serie A sees Conte be, Conte be the first one screaming at a ref and the first one cheering. He, he's never the sideline where they score and they just be kind of bored. He's never that dude. He's going nuts. <laughs> you know what I could see too? Zidane to Juve. Interesting. That'd be kind of that'd be actually be really cool for for Juve. They need something like that bad. <laughs> maybe maybe CR seven stays. Play with Zidane again. Mm. You know what? I literally didn't even think about Zidane to Juve. I didn't think. I just kind of been having in my head that his next move is going to France, like the national team. 
I kind of just totally forgot about that. But yeah, you know, you well, getting well, champ, you may get not getting Champions League. They need one bad. <laughs> well, let's let. Well, I don't want to get into that because I want to talk about yes, Zidane yes. leaving Real Madrid. After. One hour episode. Relax. We'll talk about Zidane leaving after uh, we get to the rest of these teams. But yeah, shout out to Inter, won the league, dominated, uh, and, and we'll see best them. jerseys in, in, in the league too. And we will see them uh, go out in group stage of Champions League next season, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, Liga. Wow. Last match day, Lille pulled it out. Man, uh, 24 wins, 11 draws, only three losses, 83 points, one point over PSG. They had to win the last match day. They had to win because they drew the match day before that. They went up against Angers. They easy got the win. Dub. Well, not too easy. They got the win 2-1. Two, two um, easy they were, dub. They were up 2-0. Angers did score. Um, it got a little bit nervy. But, uh, yeah, they ended up winning the league. Um, crazy, only three losses. B- Burak Yomaz, um, Yazici, Jonathan David, uh, scored, putting in the goals. What's his name? Um, uh, uh, Jose Fonch at the back. And uh, what's, what's the other guy? years old. B- B- Botman or something like that. His other center back played really well. Um, Jonathan Bamba. Ikone, like, and 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 the coach Christoph Gatier, like, did a great job of like rotating players. Um. So, like, I think a lot of the players stayed fresh, and also like played the hot hand. And also, I'll go back to the beginning of the season. Obviously, I'm league on Bam. In the beginning of the season, Jonathan David was not scoring goals. Like he was just, he, like he wasn't playing bad. But like the shots were wide, they were over the bar or they were getting saved just like constantly. It got to the point where he just was not on the board and like somebody won a penalty and they were like, here, dog, you take it so you can so you can have a goal like that. That's how it was at the beginning of the season. But towards that middle, especially I think if, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong about this, but I feel like in Europa League, like he started to kind of like get his feet wet as far as like scoring goals. And then, like, it translated into the league. Um, and then I think he finished with, like, you know, f- maybe 15 goals or something like that. Like, he finished with – or maybe 13. He finished with a decent goal tally. Um, and – and I, yeah, I'm going off. But really, his standout moment for me was against PSG. He The match ended 1-0. But he scored the only goal <laughs> – and it was after a play where he was injured, like he got like uh, tackled and, and injured by Idrissa Gay. And he like, he kept on going like down the field and ended up getting, uh, I think he like got the goal off of a rebound and shot that was deflected even. And he had to leave the pitch after that. Like he was hurt, like he was hurt on the play Damn. and then still went down to score the goal. And literally after that, he had to leave the pitch. That, and 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 PSG end up. I mean, uh, Lille end up winning that match against PSG one zero. Wow, off, that's massive. Off of his goal, um, Man, left which. <laughs> Damn, he kind of like he don't even really look too much different than him too. Oh, Stop. chunky. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Look, no. But he's like chunky though. Chunky. Let me pull up pictures. But go ahead. Look, their faces don't look alike. But like from soccer to football, like they were both okay. kind of chubby in the face. No. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Lille, their last their last uh, league win was like ten years ago when they had Eden Hazard and Conehead Gervinho and all kinds of people. Um, but you know, this this season they don't have any stars. I mean, Bur- Burak Yilmaz is a star in Turkey. Um, Hanato Sanchez had his time, but Hanato Sanchez didn't play a whole lot this season. But um, against Andre in the last match, he did have a beautiful assist for uh, Jonathan David's first goal. Like just you, you saw that thing in him where it was like, oh yeah, this guy is still a baller. Um, I think he's gonna leave though. But this is also a season where they sold, um, they, they sold uh, what's his name, Victor Osiman for uh, to Napoli. Napoli. You know they they don't have Nicolas. Oh, crazy Pe- numbers last year too. 
Yeah, you right. Um, they don't have Nicola Pepe. Like, you know, they, they, you know, people were thinking like, oh, I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. You know, they're getting Jonathan David who came from Belgium. Like they, you, they went three years in a row where, I mean, clubs dream of just getting two years in a row of getting good young strikers. And when Fahafai Leal, who balled out in his first year, left at like 19 to AC Milan, Oshman, who, who, who came out of nowhere, balled out. Now Nigeria national team starter and playing for Napoli, huge club. And then with David, now there's this expectation of him. And also you don't know how it's going to be. And we all saw the beginning of the season. They were playing kind of goofy and he's not putting the goals in. Even you were saying like, oh, I don't know about him right now. Like he's not really putting on. And I remember just looking at his numbers in Belgium. Like there's just no way this guy can't score. Like he has crazy numbers in Belgium when he was playing for that. I forgot what club it was, but I think it was Ghent. Um, I think it was Ghent. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, or gank, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it, it was a great, I think they had a great mix, right? They had like three Turks that were just coming and balling. They had a, a good mix of young with veteran talent. Like, how much did Jonathan David really benefit from working next to someone like Burke Yilmaz? You know, a true, a true and true striker, not the speediest guy in the world, but a boom shot and all the savvy veteran swag in the world. Like, that's huge for a young player with so much athletic gift like Jonathan David damn near looks like a winger sometimes when he's running out there so uh you know it, it's 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 great for him good to see the, what the hell so um yeah Lille uh shout out Lille for that dub PSG oh my <laughs> me oh my PSG uh yeah yeah I don't know what happened with PSG I mean they the PSG have like eight losses in the league that's crazy it, um, to be fair I remember when the season started was this the season where like they had the wildest lineups ever out there. I was like, who are these players? I'm no. like, was it this season or was that last no, season? I, I feel like the, crazy formations. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that was a couple seasons ago. They, they, they you know, they, they were that, doing was that, was that COVID season that they had like the crazy for lineups? I was like, who are these people starting? No, nah, that was, yeah, that was before that even. Um, I mean, although like it was a big deal that this season they, they went to the Champions League final against Bayern, and then they had to start back pretty fast. And yeah, they play like three weeks later. Um, I don't think it was three weeks, but it was it was close after that. Um, but at the same time, it's like, yo, dude, like, sorry, man, like, you got all the money, like, if you like players like. Neymar and Mbappe and these guys, like if they're tired, like you got to have other players that can replace them that are good. And I think they do, but like they also brought in, brought in Pochettino in January and it was like, well, yo, you brought in a certified loser. What do you expect? How many years in a row did PSG win Ligue 1? Um, The last time they didn't win, I want to say it was 2016-17 season. Did they win? And then Monaco. Monaco was, I think, 2016-17. Okay. And then who won the cup? Was it um, they, like in the meantime, like they, they lost a couple times. Cope the league, who won that? They, they, they canceled that for this season. Um, uh, huh. but I remember like a couple seasons ago, like they lost the cup to I remember that. In the final. Um, yeah. Like, so the one season, the one season in a long time, you bring in, uh, you brought in coaches in the past, you had, um, Mr. Smart chess player, genius German before Tuchel, uh, apparently a, a, a wonder genius coach. Um, he won the league though, and then uh, emphatically at some point too, crazy numbers at one point. Bring in Pochettino, not the same result. Are you telling me that we put Pochettino on PSG and are we still sharing, still sharing a trophy case together? Are we still rocking the same trophy case? You are, sir. The you man are. that got to coach PSG, quote unquote, in the farmers league, right? With the biggest budget of, of, of 20 of the teams in the league. And couldn't couldn't pull it out against Lil Lil, right? Yeah. Last time Lil did anything crackles with that Gervinho and Hazard. That's crazy. So um it just what did you expect when you got put in? What did you really expect? Did you expect wins? Because I haven't seen the man's resume that that provides that. I'm sorry. Pochettino is literally the most fail upward guy ever. It, it must be nice. I just want PSG to say bye-bye to Mbappe. 
and then get Son, please. I want Son on PSG. That'd be so cool, please. That'd be dope. It's not gonna happen, but that'd be no because they don't make dope moves like that. But that'd be they dope. literally don't. You like... like that would make them crazy marketable. Like, well, already Neymar is a megastar. Then they have like the the uh, Son, who's damn near like Ronaldo on that side of the world. Like he's a megastar over there. Look at his Instagram follows. I'm like, oh my god, this dude's huge. <laughs> like, and, if... yeah, that'd be so dope for them. But no. P- I'm yeah. Let me leave PSG alone because whenever I really get into PSG over the years, like they're really whack. Actually, like you're really whack. They're like, Cavani but, but out here really still going too. Cavani is out here literally making himself a star. Icardi, or, or, Icardi, what? Icardi's, Icardi's gonna, gonna leave. Going. Like, okay, Icardi's probably gonna leave, and I think like Everton can take Moises Keane back. Like yeah, they can be like they can be like oh yeah like if if I'm PSG you better buy out that damn contract what are you doing you need appa- him apparently Keen wants to stay there apparently yeah uh, he looks like he's loving it there he doesn't want to go to Everton dog yeah, he had seriously. one goal at Everton it's rough over there yeah and I feel like he would want to stay especially because um, he has a good link up and 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 in, in, uh, with like the 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 like the culture there they have a good yeah, marketing they have cool link with neymar he speaks french i saw him do some videos in psg he was have a great time there yeah and also um i feel like for him if him especially if mbappe leaves i feel like he can even link up more with neymar and get more goals Absolutely. but even if mbappe stays like there's not so much pressure on him he's a good center forward he's young and like yeah. you know you're at a place you can shine if he cardi leaves too because I think he really submitted himself as a better center forward than Icardi. He kind of beat him in that position, dog. Yeah, he definitely did. And it's kind of crazy that we're talking about PSG after Lille won the league. Uh- <laughs> Sorry, Lille. We love you, though. We do love you, Lille. <laughs> um, and shout out to Yazici because, as I mentioned on previous shows, because of him, I learned that Trabzon is a city. I thought that I, I honestly like would just feel like all them teams play in Istanbul and Turkey. And I remember uh, looking up Yazici and I was like, oh, he played for he played Trapezoid. Trapezoid? I, he played for Trapezoid Spore. I was like, oh, okay. And that, I just like happened to click on it. It was like said like Trapezoid Turkey. I'm like, damn, that's an actual city. What the heck? It's and then cool. I looked it up. I was like, damn, there's a whole city all on the. Um, it's like on the Black Sea and it's gorgeous. I'm like, damn, now I want to go to Turkey. I never wanted to go to Turkey. I just <laughs> want to saw Trapezoid. Yeah, I'm like, I seen travel. Like, oh, I actually want to go there. Hopefully they're not racist. This is tr- truly a geography network right that are like all of a sudden want to go after finding out about a new city. <laughs> yeah. Like I never wanted to go to Turkey ever in my life. And I don't want to go to Istanbul, but I do want to go to tra- Trapezoid Sport. <laughs> uh <laughs> Who who was the dude that you started calling a trapezoid for? The little Colombian guy what was his name again? Uh, Castillo. Fabian, Fabian Castillo. Castillo. <laughs> we're funny, honestly. We're the realest. <laughs> Man, he we was advocating for him back in 2018. This this gone, long gone now. I think it was before that. Where the hell is he at? I want to find him. Now. I think he I'm plays in Mexico him. now. Yeah, he's probably balling out there. He's probably playing for that uh, green. You no, know, he was playing for Tijuana, I think. I think he was. Playing oh, he for- does play for Tijuana. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. He was a baller, man. He was killing them. He's only 28. Only. He got the 10 jersey. You know, he's good. He played for Caretto. Yeah, he is only 20. He plays for T1. He's been there a while, too. That's good. Yeah. I like yeah, him. Two, two years of trapezoid. He was destroying on FC Dallas. Jesus Christ. He was, he was crazy. I'm like, Doug, why? This guy should not be playing in this league. This is a shame. Seriously. He was whack. trying to get out hard too. Remember that he was get trying to working hard to get out. His whack ass agent got him to Turkey. Like what the hell? <laughs> you could have been playing Mexico. He's probably chilling in Mexico. Now you can play next. Now you going against Mexico. A legit talent gun there. I mean, damn. But like, why? Why are you gonna go from Dallas to Turkey? Like, damn, gonna get him to somewhere better. Um. Anyway, last but not least, uh, I did say top six leads because. We are definitely going to be talking about Caesar. I, don't be doing that face. I see you. Uh, <laughs> we're definitely going to be talking about the Liga Nos Portuguese League winners, Sporting Lisbon, winning the league for the first time in 19 years. I'm a big Sporting Lisbon fan. Caesar, you're the most cap Portugal person ever. I, I, I can openly accept I'm the biggest cap bandwagon Portuguese League fan ever. Thank you. I will. I will take that title and I will wave that flag every year. 
Yeah, you switch up every season. And I, I love it. I'm down even more. Even though they got the ugliest jerseys of all time, I'm down. They're I don't doing, agree with that. I kind of like them. Why the hell are you wearing green and white stripes on top of black shorts? It's just I you look like a dumb referee. I hate it. It looks so bad. It's kind of fire. Celtic at least ma- wear matching shorts. What the hell are you doing over there in Port in, in Lisbon? Anyway, hater. Um, what's big, the name? Big fan uh, though. <laughs> Sporting Lisbon won the league 85 points, five points over Porto. Um, they only gave up 20 goals, I think, all season. Caesar, they only lost one match, and it was the second to last match day. They could have been the uh, the, the indestructibles. What do they call the damn Arsenal team? Uh, yeah, yeah, indestructible, yeah. No, I don't think it's that. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> stupid. Um, they could have won the who? Maybe it's the Invincibles. I don't know. They could have won the league with no losses, but on the second to last match day, they lost. Four to three to Benfica, mm. local derby. My boys, huh? My boys, <laughs> stupid local derby. Um, but yeah, the first time winning the winning the league in nineteen years. Um, pretty amazing feat for them. I think uh, Ronaldo's mom was like so happy. Uh, Ronaldo's dad is dead, and. Um, <laughs> Ronaldo's mom was really ecstatic. Uh, Ronaldo's dad did uh, hold weapons in Africa against Africans. He did, he did do that. Um, I will say about Benfica, uh, when, uh, who finished third, I did see that graffiti in, in Lisbon that said Benfica crackheads. That was interesting. Um, I'm down. And, uh, I mean, only one of us have been to Portugal, so you know better than me. Okay, well, Dan, where are we going? Okay. Is that um, yeah. So is that Johnson yeah. Johnson working or what? I mean, psh, I'm I'm on that Pfizer. They can do whatever they want. I'm 100. percent Now I'm Pfizer baby. Pfizer gang. Caesar. Uh, uh, one of my favorite new rappers is from uh, Portugal. Her name is uh, Maria Bruxa, uh, with three X's. You and, don't have uh, favorite rappers, but okay. Okay, new favorite rapper, and uh, she's a transgender rap rapper. Um, and see, 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 see that. Just couldn't help here. it. He couldn't help it. He couldn't help it. He's canceled, folks. Uh, but yeah, Sporting Lisbon won the league. Shout out to them. 26 wins, seven draws, only one loss. That would have been so dope if they if they won the league uh, with with only with with no losses. Just a few seasons ago. Remember, Caesar? Oh, yeah. The whole anarchy that happened. The Sporting Lisbon fans went crazy. They went nuts. Yeah, yeah they, they, had, uh, they, they, they had my boy Sadu Dumbia, too. That was crazy. All the players, they fire sold all the players. 80% of them went to, to Wolves. Yeah. It was wild, but, you know, it paid off. So maybe Marseille will win the league in a couple of years because that happened to them, too, this, this season. Uh, mm-hmm. The fans went crazy and tore up the whole uh, stadium and shit. Um, okay, well, Caesar is uh, is done with this episode. Zidane is going to Juve. You heard it here first. Yeah, Conte to Real, straight swap. <laughs> Plus three, Kinda. three first round picks. <laughs> Stupid. And and Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> yeah, whoever. And Byron Leftwich, left ankle. <laughs> Byron Red- Leftwich, who I think uh, is a coach for Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think he just a won a coach. Or, yeah, he is a coach, actually. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think, he, I think he's there, maybe. I think. I can't remember. I think he is, too. Um, but anyway. Uh, we were going to talk about Zidane leaving Real Madrid, but Caesar's over it. Uh, we made it podcast 204. Next week, we will be doing the We Made It Awards. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll just, yeah. Maybe we should get a little dressed up, you know what I'm saying? Make it an award night. Okay. You know, we, we should, that'd be kind of dope. I'm down. I'm down. Let's make this cool. Okay. We'll do that. Um, All right. What's the name? Um, make sure you're, fo- let's see what's going on on Twitch right now. Um whenever if caesar's not doing stream c's people ain't trying to watch um and he and he ain't gonna do stream c's if i'm here so um make sure you're following him on following him on twitch though uh twitch.tv slash we made it c's and make sure you're following we made a podcast the longest running black soccer podcast in american history pioneers yesterday was the four-year anniversary Four years, dog. Happy anniversary. I seen dudes talking about episode 50. 
You know, what I mean, I ain't saying nothing, but I'm like, we, we we went through World Cups, multiple presidents, international breaks for you. You went international, I went international. I traveled through countries, between state episodes. I mean, it just just the catalog. There's been multiple homes. There's multiple studios. I mean, we went from Lua Studios to the the Twenty One Savage one. I forgot what it's called. To, we just, <laughs> you know, the 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 Katie without Stadium, warning, uh, everything, dog. Caesars lived literally. I want to say in three homes since we made a podcast. I think it's three, right? Two. No, no. Two apartments. Two apartments, but then your mom's joined too. We you did that close my mom's place. Yeah, we. Yeah, you were there for a little bit. Oh wow. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, dog. Yeah. <laughs> can, we, can y'all can can this show take off? I'm tired of moving. <laughs> how, how many girlfriends? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? What are you counting? Uh, no, least... who was up in four? At... When did we do the last? When was the first episode? Twenty. Caesar. 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 One. Okay. After that. Two. Two. That's it. Uh. Uh, the one that, that wasn't gets, a girlfriend. The one that gets mentioned in the chat. That's not <laughs> oh, a girlfriend. Yeah, it's close enough. I met her. Dude, what's going on here? If, if I met her, it counts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, okay. I guess. Yeah, you're four. You're right then. If it's that. Yeah, and then. Oh and then, my god. <laughs> and then this last one, who shall not be named? <laughs> no, please don't. For legal reasons. Anyway, um. <laughs> Anyway, we made a podcast. Episode 205 next week will be the We Made It Awards. I'm going to send the categories to Caesar pronto so he can get I, it. I will promise not to give a guest them beforehand. It makes Bam mad. That was um, we me made and Bam are definitely going to have ones of the same that we laugh about before we even say them. Oh, oh, Caesar, I was listening to the first We Made It uh, Awards. That shit was hilarious, dog. First, first, we made it awards is just legendary because not only that we do it in the off season, we just started the show. And I remember the day we told Dan, which is the episode we're doing, this is part one back when we're part of Syndicate 23. Um, we told Dan, he was like, You guys are really gonna do an award show in your third episode or whatever? We're like, Yes, that's <laughs> that's that. That is if that couldn't be more telling of us as a show, that's it right there. Are you really gonna do this? Yes, we yes. are. Because I've been watching the show more than I've been fucking doing the show, okay? I'm giving an award. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's hilarious. Because we were doing, like, we did winners for each league. <laughs> so we did coaches for each league, players for each league. I was back in the two-hour episode days. Back? Oh, hopefully it's should two hours now. There's one hour and 30 and you hate me, but yeah. Oh, uh, see, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Okay, it's, hour, it's one hour and 20, but I, we did take, like, nine minutes to start up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we made it awards next week. And yeah, still the realest. Four years running, never missed a week. Hardest working, uh, hardest working soccer podcast in the world. Okay, Caesar also, also really yeah, fast. I want to say some too, but go ahead. Who, who? I want to say some too, but go ahead. I don't care. Um, also, um, I need to look at the England call-ups for the Euros. The 33 it, call-ups. If if you if Jesse Lingard didn't get called up, I'm gonna try to see if I can get him on the We Made It Award. Uh, get out of here, dog! I'm gonna, gonna DM gonna him. him on, dog. I'm gonna DM him and be like, dog, you want to be on our podcast? Like, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Well, I'm gonna start DMing players. I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> I'm like, hey, yo, you want to be on? I our seen podcast? I, I seen Joe G out do a, a episode for some podcast that had like 30 people on there. I'm like, you know what, Caesar? We- I'm like, you know what? Let me start getting some players on here. I'm gonna start putting in some work. I got I got I got some. I don't know why I have so many Twitter followers i'm gonna start putting in some work now you know it's like i don't like that's the thing i don't want to interview them i want them to be on our show just like we did with like we had nicole or Tarek or anybody yeah, yeah, no no, no. I'm, I'm, i mean i want them to be like a guest host yeah like you like we're gonna talk about like the match like yeah. you know what i mean like not like i'm gonna, gonna be like yeah well, we're gonna talk about a regan but what do you think about the game yeah like i don't care about your life dude. no no like Yo, I swear to God, the most the most boring thing is player interviews. Yeah, they're so boring, it. dude. It, it, like, all sports interviews are lame. With I don't. I never watch player interviews. I never do it. Like literally, like I'm gonna watch the Cavani one, but it's like 
It's I only go boring. watch a highlight if some coach went off or some shit. But let me see what happened here. Yeah, but it's still boring. Like he's just gonna, yeah. they just say the same shit. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Um. Yeah. So four years we've been doing it. We're gonna keep on going. We made a podcast. Hopefully, we, we, the goal is to to now that I have this profile set up on here. We'll do more episodes on the Twitch here. Um. So you know now follow your boy. We made it season on Twitch because not only you're gonna be getting me gaming, but you will be getting. A weekly episode of we made a podcast as well. So it's a win-win. Caesar over here timing me out. And maybe if like I get a, a sub during this, then I'll send that five dollars to Bam because that's during the show. That's the only time I'll split it. <laughs> Caesar ain't said Caesar boy. Well, you think 60 subs equals five dollars each? Come on now. Uh, it's probably more than that, <laughs> knowing you. Anyway, we made a podcast. Uh make sure you follow us and make sure you holler back.